yeah hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how i created this flyer in photoshop of course with few steps which i'll guide you through the first thing i started off doing was looking for images this tends to be the hard part of any design process right um so um i had pinterest to work with for this so i looked for pictures that i used online and um i got a few of them and I also had um, Freepik also to work with, right? So after that, I got my images. It was time to make some adjustment. So I had to remove backgrounds for uh, this picture, for example. So I had to speed things up so I wouldn't waste all the whole day on this particular video alone. So without having to waste more time, let's get started. So the first thing I would do is I created a new document like this. I'll give it a name like we've done in the past. You feel free to use any name of your choice. But I'm just gonna use this. Alright. So my width and height stays 5x5, five five, resolution stays at 300. And just click OK when you're done like this. Alright. So the first thing we want to do is go to solid color. And I'm just going to go over to the reds. And I'm going to use something around this region. You can just copy my settings. Just copy my settings in this um, um, flyer session, right? So next thing I did was to um, make um, preparation for my background. So I had to bring in my first image, which is this. Um, make it bigger like this. Ctrl T to transform, or Command T if you're using a Mac. Right, um, I have to rotate a bit, so I have this um, effect, um, just the way it is like this. Alright, great. Okay, so I'm just going to change the blend mode to color dodge like this. Yeah, color dodge. Like this. And... Um, I'm going to make three copies of this, select everything, Control G to group them. Right, and I'm just going to hue and saturation. Uh, let me do that again, hue and saturation. And right click and click on create the mask. So you're clipping it to this layer itself. Right, and colorize like this saturation all up here like this then view to this position so you can just copy my settings and um, when you're done with all of this I'm gonna select these two layers ctrl G to group them all together so I'm just gonna give this a name I didn't fit um, let's see um, okay that should be noise good and I'm just gonna leave it like this if you feel it's too much you can always go to opacity to reduce it just like this right great okay so having done that I'm just going to increase the size and um, position this somewhere here like this right when I'm done click enter so you can see our nice effects looking great already right good okay so you can also reduce the feel to the feel that the effect is too much so i'm just going to go in and bring in my next image which is this image of um people worshiping giving thanks in church all right so i'm just going to make this bigger like this and i'm just going to position this here I'm changing my blend mode to color dodge right so um applying the mask i'm just going to use this click on this to apply the mask um one please so i'm just going to delete one and selecting the mask i'll make sure my foreground color is black and i'm going to go over to where i have my brush and i'm just going to rub off those hard edges so it doesn't cause troubles for us later on 
Alright, so you can see how nice this these images are blended together. Right? So um now that I have this out of the way, right? So I'm just going on to the next phase of this design. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new layer. Um, or I'll just go directly to my text tool. I don't need to create a new layer, just click on text tool. And I'm just going to type out what I want. So this is tanks. I'm going to change it to the font that I use, which is Morganite. You can get it via the internet. I'll be dropping a link to this font. And uh, don't forget that the rest of the elements I use is in the description of this video. Please feel free to click on it to download them for practice and for use. Alright, so I have tanks. I'm just going to make a duplicate copy of this. So I have given. So I'm just going to type given. Um, double click on the thumbnail. Yeah, so it, it's activated. So I'm just going to type given. That's all. So I might just want to work with spacing because the spaces I don't really have spaces in between text. But first, um, let me increase the size of this so it aligns with what I have above. Right. So the next thing I will do is just to give it space. Okay, so I'm just going to use this to create space in between the text. Um, I'm just going to set this to minus 10. You can see now that I have spaces in between the letters. And um, this goes down here like this. Great. So I'm just going to use my text tool to write out um, the other information. Alright. Okay, so with that done, I'm just going to go over to my shape tool. I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to draw a shape like this. Make sure it's set to shape, right? Shape here like this. So I'm just going to double click on the thumbnail so as to change the color. So I'm just going over to the first red that we use, the sprite red here, right? I'm not being picky with the colors, I'm just um, being certain that I have a good amount of uh, color contrast with the colors I'm using right so um, this is the red I have chosen to use so with this I'm just going to make a duplicate copy of the service ctrl J right good let me bring this out so you see what I did I'm just going to move it above okay so let me just type what I want to um, general edition like this and um, I'm going to okay I'm just going to adjust this way make it smaller and of course move it to where I want it to be but the rectangle is in its way so I'll just drag it up to the top and um, 
close down the space between the text yeah like this next thing i want to do is i'm going to go over to the blend option right click now nah. i'm doing that again so um right click and select blending option yeah so when the whole dialog box pops up i'm going to select stroke like this but we're not using that kind of stroke so i'm going to reduce this all the way down to one and i'm going to change the stroke color to white like this Good. you can see how bold that has become so most times when the font that you're actually using doesn't have bold you can use stroke to increase the size and make it bolder like this just the way i did with this font so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and bring in the next element which is this nice looking um, foil paper i got online you can get a few of them from pinterest also right so ctrl t i'm just going to turn it this way right and uh, make it smaller like this move it where i want it to be i'm going to change the blend mode from normal of course before i do that i'm going to clip it directly on top of this rectangle right but then let me give it the blend mode first so you see what it feels like you can see linear dodge add then uh, of course right click and select clipping mask create clipping mask great just like this you can see how nice um this effect is so you can use you can move it along inside anywhere you want it to be just like this okay so nicely done like this right okay so next thing i want to do is i'm going to bring in the image next image i'm going to use which is this image so i don't need it to be too big like too big so i'm going to make it smaller like this not too small but just appropriate like this um bring it down a bit and uh, when i get the right place to place this i'm just going to release enter to place it there right i'm going to click on the mask and i'm going to go over to my brush make sure i'm selecting the soft round brush reduce the size if your cap locks is on turn it off so you get the right um, shape of the brush like this so i'm just going to rub these areas off that's all i'm going to do everything stays the same right good so i'm just going to go up to the topmost layer create a new layer and i'm going to sample a color from this region and this is the code click ok and i'm, I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply uh, yes the blend mode set to multiply okay um yeah the blend mode set to multiply let's see good make sure you're on a new, new layer this is the color code that i'm going to use now so just make use of this and click ok so gently i'm just going to apply that here just like this right uh, you can see how subtle this is or this has been okay so i'm just going to rename this shadow just so i recognize things inside so i noticed that my layers are kind of getting too busy which i don't really like so i'm just going to select um, from these tanks up onto this point and i'm going to group everything all together like this and i'm just going to name all this title 
so this is the title right i'm just going to drag january inside it and voila problem solved right so you can still select the noise and the image and just name it background right so you have a clean layer so going over to color balance i'm going to clip it to the image and i'm just you can just copy my settings right so i'm just going to stay on shadows i'm going to red and i'm going towards the yellows right then on highlights i'm just going to go over to the yellows and go over to the reds too so i'm going to show you the before and after for the color balance see this is before and this is after you can see how much difference this has um, this has made to the design itself so i'm just going to group it all then and name it image right so um i'm just going over to bring in the logo and some few other things okay so we have that out of the way the next thing uh, i would like to do is bring in our last element for this design which is this just to add some spice to the design all right so i'm just going to leave this here make a copy of this flip horizontal like this and place this here like this and i'm going to flip it this way also like this right so with this second one i'm just going to go over to blur caution blur you can just copy my settings also for this too and for the other one i'm going to do the same thing to for it but um i'm going to use a different videos for this and just like this right great and I observed something here, so I'm just going to go back to the image, uh, Ctrl T, and I'm just going to move this to this region here like this, while I make it bigger, so I don't have to see that area again. Right. So this is exactly what I want, like this. Okay, so um, after all being said, this is um, the end of this video section. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And please, if you have not subscribed at this point in time, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the post notification so you don't miss any of the videos I'll be dropping anytime from now. I'll see you.